everyone, Michelle Fix It here today. Uh, I am going to be unboxing and installing uh, a training toilet seat. So Charlie uh, is now two. He's shown a lot of interest in potty training. Uh, one of the houses already has one of these installed, so apologies for not having this video available to you guys yet. Um, but let's see what we have. So this is a toilet seat cover, SKU uh, is P-H-O underscore zero V-P-6-7-X-W-L. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I've used these before in the past. Um, and so with this one, it comes with all your hardware. Gonna take that off and then unlike a regular toilet seat it has an extra feature to it for the littles in your life because if you didn't know if a child falls off the toilet seat or they're having issues and they're kind of unsteady that's going to be an issue for potty training so the way that this toilet seat works is you put this part on the back of the toilet seat and then you have this part of the toilet the regular part for the grown-ups and then this part is magnetic and it just goes down and it's even a soft close so they can't he can come in he can come in come on buddy you can help um and so it's a soft close so that way it's just not so scary Hi, buddy. You're okay. I'm going to take the bag off of here, take the instructions out, and let's uh, let's reposition you guys. All right. So your first step that you're going to do is you're going to pop these out or off for your old toilet seat. Charlie, come over here, buddy. You have peanuts in the bathroom. They're not really the best thing. No, no, no. Mommy wants them to be up. Um, I requested a screwdriver and my husband gave me a drill, so we'll see if this works. And you can either use a screwdriver or a drill and pull out the hardware, Charlie, stop. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, sometimes you'll have a lot of resistance, so you might need um, some pliers to hold the other piece. No, this is really gross and you're not getting it. Watch out, buddy. Watch out. Mommy's got to get on the other side. Now we have those sides off. <laughs> and Charlie's going to knock you guys over because that's what Charlie does. He's like, I want out of this bathroom, Mommy. I don't care if I mess up your video. All right. And he hears the dog walker. He's like, Sean, Sean, Mommy's doing a project. And this is going to be super gross, I already know. Ew, how nasty is that? Yeah. We're going to stick the old toilet seat back in that box. I'm going to clean this up really quick, ew, and uh, then we'll continue with the install. All right, so we're going to clean this up. Charlie had to get out of here because he was really trying to be part of this whole process. And this is your reminder that like, maybe, just maybe, you should take your hardware off every now and then. Admittedly, this hardware has been on here for a very, very long amount of time. I'm trying to see if I have anything better to clean it off with so that I'm not just sticking it right back on. Pumice or pumice or whatever sticks that work pretty well.
right. And I'm gonna do just a smidgen more. And I will be cleaning the toilet after this is all done. your new toilet seat. And you pop these little covers off of here. But you have to get your appropriate size before you order this. And then we have our instructions. So open the plastic cover and then it talks about installing the two plastic washers. So we have our two plastic washers. Which will probably help with not having so much yucky stuff going on. So you install your plastic washers. Also, it will also help like not having the toilet seat jar all over the place. So we have our two plastic washers installed. And then our next step is to press the plastic washers tightly, which we already have. And then we're going to get fixing the toilet seat by screws. So we flip it over and we stick it back on here. There we go. And we get our screws, ooh, which are flathead. So that's gonna be problematic. I'll probably have to just hand tighten these and come back with a screwdriver. Um, to do our washers. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, I have plooped one and I have plooped the other. And you just tighten it up and you're about to have a new toilet seat for potty training or for whatever. And it's a soft close, so it's fantastic. And it takes a while to tighten. So for this project, you'll very likely need um, a large flathead and a Phillips screwdriver. And again, pliers in case you're having issues with untwisting your previous ones. are seated properly when you do this and I'm just twisting the nut on the bottom part of the toilet seat and just holding the, the top part that has the flat head while I twist it. Just close your little clippies on the top. There you go. And now you have a toilet seat. Yes, the toilet needs to be cleaned, but I was excited that this came in. 
and if the baby needs to do potty training, then he has a toilet seat. And then when he goes to close it, it is now a soft close or a hard to close. And if you guys didn't pick that up, it has the magnet. So once the toilet seat is closed, it will just take it back. And there we go. Because you should always keep your toilet seat closed whenever you go potties and you flush. And that's it. So I have had lots of these in the past. I think they're fantastic. I highly recommend them. Um, whatever brand or name or whatever that you guys decide. I just happen to go with the one that had um, the best pricing and the best reviews, as I do. And, uh, and that's it. So you guys like, subscribe. Have a great day. Um, and enjoy your potty training. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Oh, and you know, if you guys have ideas on certain videos that you guys would like to see, let me know. Um, I, I will try to incorporate them. Otherwise, if you are impatient or, uh, wanting to see stuff, um, I have a members page and things like that, uh, for more urgency, um, because I am, I am pre-published. So that way I can just kind of record, pre-publish, and then uh, leave the, the channel alone because I, I, if you guys can't tell, I have a lot of stuff that I have to do each day. So you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you next time. Bye.